Right. These pieces that I cut one foot long, I forgot to take into account the thickness of that. So I've now cut another piece off, so now combined, lengthways, it's a foot. I've just took the board up so then I can roughly measure how much space I need, and I want some extras for future additions. Now, if you remember in previous videos, when I was testing my staple once I've fiddled with it, I'll ping it, shoot them in the edge to make sure they're coming out. Well, as I've said before, this place is cramped, it's difficult to work safely and easily because there's too much crap everywhere. I don't have any, anywhere to put it, it's awkward. Take a look at this. A friggin' staple got caught in a spider web, I mean, I mean what's the chances? That's, well, interesting. So, yeah. I just thought I'd show you that. This is the third one out of the two, the three I've been doing. The other two are not perfect. I'm hoping they'll be okay. I just do not have the skill yet to get this nice and accurate. Now let's cut it a slant. That is piss poor. But this is the point, I just... I'm no carpenter. So I'll have to just uh, work with it, I guess. So I'm running out of wood. And it's already, already gone through a few rejects. So, I'm just going to bodge the friggin' thing. Carve it to shape, sod it. I have drilled out pilot holes, but I had to hold it. There's no way I could clamp it. I need 10 hands. Truth be told, when it comes to this, I don't really know what I'm doing. I read books, but lack experience. Okay, poor, poor, it's all pretty bad. Well, I think we'll get away with it. Especially once the, uh, when it's fully done. I think we'll be okay. Uh, that one's coming out of I just realised that I forgot to countersink them, which means they're all sticking out. This doesn't work. Well, and that's going to go flush against the layout. That's a bodge. I made some mistakes. Don't worry about it. The end two, I'm fine. That's a bodge. I'm not happy. I lack the skill. End of story. Um,
Plonk this bit of board on. It's enough cut for my P4 layout. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to line it up at the edge, drill part holes through it, um, take it off, lay some glue, stick it back down again, drill all the holes in, and then I think I will be, um, I'll be shaving off the, the bits by craft knife. Right. That's a rough centre line. So I'm going to put the screws. ran out of charge so this is what we have could be better might take a few out and put a few more back in but it's glued it's screwed it ain't going nowhere now I'm just shaving off all the off cut bits uh, again the hard way I've already made a start of it. Basic idea now. Right. So one side is going to be a control panel, the other side is going to be basically a table to put stuff on. Once it's cut to shape as well, that's going to sort of go in there and be your scenic extension, pretty much. So then the flap piece will probably flap this way. Right, glued and screwed in. 
All I need to do to this now is literally sort out this flap thing, and then in the case of fixing to the baseboards, drill the holes when I need it. But that's pretty much it. I'll continue to and improve it later, but the basic thing is pretty much done. It's just the flap now. So, yeah. Okay, so it is a day or so later, and as you can see, the panel lid is about done. Brought some beading from the shop, okay. Added the hinges on. This is some laminate offcut, some foam offcuts from the, uh, the layout topping, okay. Reason being, just a bit of protection. Only thing is, it could do with some sort of twist catch to pull it down tightly. So that will be looked into later. I'm sure that's quite a simple thing to do. Okay. Next job. Row of chocolate box blocks, uh, suitcase connectors, terminal blocks, connectors, whatever you want to call them. Okay, which will be mimicking this exactly. Okay. Um, and then once they're in, it'd be a case of bolting this whole control panel and scenic extension onto the layout, just exactly as I did before when I joined the two boards. Same method and then drill the holes and then do the actual connectors themselves like you've already seen so on the whole it's a bit rough around the edges that's pretty clear but on the whole I'm pretty pleased I'm sure once all the bits are on and the you know it's all done it'll look good okay get down where you can see me pretty self-explanatory what I've been doing is I've been using just a bit of graphite pencil to get the rough plan on the go okay I wasn't sure what to use on the previous little people thing I've been building, I've been using insulation tape. I wanted different colours, I didn't want to paint it freehand because it might be a bit wobbly, but I only had black tape, so, so I thought I'd look to see what I had. I this low tack masking tape, which might not be the best thing, but I'm giving it a go. Right. Sized about right. So I've layered that on, drilled the holes, and the hardboard is not the best material because it's a bit frays. But again, I just wanted to use what I had at hand, rather than having to buy a load of new stuff. So, I'm getting on with it. So I've got to put three in, and to stick them in, it's pretty simple. Right, just these sort of things. You get various like types, but... Um, I'll find out what they are later. I've got two different types. For the uh, isolation switches, they're just simply on off. Yeah. But for the points, they've, they spring back to the centre. It's different way. Of, there's loads of different ways of doing it. Um, you take the initial nut off. Yeah, you just get a hexagonal nut, and you get two special washer type things that I just discard. Well, put in a pot for later, because I don't actually have room to use them because of the thickness of the board. But I find you don't need it. You just as long as you do it tight, it doesn't tend to come undone, undone so stick it here. If you push in hard and twist it, it to some degree self taps. Now it's starting to get tight. There you go, and you can twist it a bit if you need to. And then you just put the nut on the top. I find if you just use a pair of pliers, it's quite easy to tighten up. Simple as that, just keep it going. Right. Um, yeah, let's just crack on with it. Next one. Messy bugger, innit?
Right, so all the point switches are in. Um, for the insulation switch speed, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need to buy those still. Okay, that's where we are so far. These those preliminarily roughly in position. I need to make sure that what comes out of here will be long enough to go into there. Um, also, the 37 pin things arrived. So they will be used on this. And we've also got the cowlings. Not sure how to actually use them all yet, but we'll find out. It's cheap enough. So I've got everything I need now to do the actual control panel. Right, the camera's mounted a bit funny so if it falls over, I'll have to start again. Got two bits of wires prepared with a bit of heat shrink on them. And I'm just going to basically solder it to the switch. Um, so, there we go. Yep, one. Get the heat shrink on the door. Been a bit longer that heat shrink, but never mind. I've turned the camera around so I can see what we're filming now. So at the moment, yes, it's a big fat mess, but they will be pinned sort of here nice and neatly to provide a pivot. I need to get some more of these ones green so they've waiting. Um, I've only got to solder two more of these and the actual points themselves. Uh, pretty much wired up. I just need to daisy chain the centre ones to a capacitor discharge unit to the control and some other bits. And you know, most of it, the hard the hard bit's already done. The hardest bit is to come, which is the actual um, connectors. So that's where we are. Like I said, I'm probably going to paint that low tack masking tape. Top right, I'm going to put the name, and then you can put future expansion stuff here or some text or whatever. But we get in there. <laughs> <laughs> 